Did you have a follow-up question on that? Um, yeah, I was just going to say, you know, one thing I've learned, too, is, you know, real quick, is, like, that inner circle you talked about. Because every fight I've ever got into, it was never a problem somebody had with me. It was always something somebody had with s someone I knew. And, you know, Pat Davis talked about how he chose his inner circle. How do you choose your inner circle now? Because I know when I love somebody, I will go to war. I will conquer a country for that person. You know, I love America. Me and my brother, my brother been to war three times for this country. And, he, you know, like, he, you know that's, that's how we are. So, you know, we did good on picking America and loving America. But, like, how do we continue to pick friends? How do you continue to pick friends and individuals you love? Because I know you fight for anybody you love. That's, as I was saying, um, it's difficult to pick a friend, you know, because only an enemy could really hurt you, you know what I mean? A you know, that's what we believe, but we don't know who our enemies or friends are. I, the word enemy is really condescending, but, you know, it's just confrontation with people, uh, misunderstanding with people. And um, I'm learning, too. Um, just the other day, I wanted to kick somebody in the head. I mean, I'm learning too, but you know, it's just, um, it's just that I didn't do it. You know, everybody has the feeling, but you have to overcome the feeling and not do it. And that's when discipline comes in. I'm doing something that I hate, being nice to a smuck. All but um, I'm, I'm, but I'm doing it like I, I love it, even though I hate it. You know, it's Thank all about you, changing Mike. your day. If you don't like what's going on in this room. Sweep them off the room. You know, it's really, if you don't like it, do something about it. Make this room happy. Make, get thank some you, good fellas. concept. <laughs> My man, thank you for your service. Appreciate you. Uh, Mike, <clears throat> and, and, and by the way, we figured out what it is, okay? Just so you guys know. There is a, a dancing tournament going on here. I wish you could see the, the, the group text that uh, we're in. One of the guys says, is it dancing elephants? What is this? I mean, shouldn't be making this much sound, but... Are they little kind of, kids? I don't know. It's, not, it's definitely not kids. I saw who it was. They're not kids, but it's like legit some, uh, some dancing going on up there. But let me ask you, Mike. Uh, 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 I grew up in a uh, very uh, 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 high, intense fight, war, Iran, bombing. You're, you're just, there's so much rage, you know. There's a study that was done on who are the angriest people in the world, okay? Angriest people in the world, according to Statista. They had Lebanon at number one, okay, people from Lebanon. Anybody from Lebanon here? Be careful with these guys. Pissed off folks, right? Number two was Turkish people, and then number three was Armenian. I'm half Armenian. The other half is Assyrian. We lost our country. So we're double pissed off at the world, right, for well, the life we've both, lived. Hey, both your sides really been obliviated in time. In yeah, history. yeah. So, 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 but, the, but the part I want to ask is like, sometimes, you know, your imagination goes, right? And your imagination is like, man, I'd love to hurt this guy or do this to this guy. How do you bring that back in? How are you bringing that back in when you go to an ugly place in your mind? Right. So I'm interested in, att in attacking this guy, right? Whoever it may be. And so, but you know, when I was younger, it wasn't, you know, I, didn't, I only had responsibility for myself. Now I have my family, I have my grandkids, or what, I don't have them yet, but you know, I have too many people to be responsible for. Got it. To um, allow my emotions to put me in a situation where they... So so back then, so you go straight to consequences. I have more to lose today than before. hundred percent. Got it. Um, at one time, I was so ignorant. Somebody look at me, I would be aggressive. And I'm champ of the world. It's just that I didn't understand the concept of behavior. I didn't understand that too well. Very cool. Okay, who are we going to right here? Go for it. Hey, champ. Hey. Um, yeah, it's been amazing to watch your, your evolution. So uh, I was talking to somebody in anticipation of you being here and said, yeah, like, Mike's gone through this incredible, like, spiritual renaissance. Like, we grew up watching him as an assassin and rooting him on in the ring, and now we're listening to him talk about self-love and asking people questions about, like, what is your experience of even being here? And you just talked about how your motivation is consequence. That's how you, how, how you control the anger, and I think a lot of people want to control their emotions, and that's what's so inspiring about you, is seeing how you've gotten to the other side with this self-control. 